Information about black holes A black hole is a region of space from which nothing can escape. According to the general theory of relativity, it is the result of the curving of space-time caused by a huge mass. Around a black hole, there is a position of no return called the event horizon. It is called black because it absorbs all the light that hits it, reflecting nothing, just like a perfect black body in thermodynamics. A black hole is found by its interaction with matter. The presence of a black hole can be inferred by tracking the movement of a group of stars that orbit a region in space. Alternatively, when gas falls into a black hole caused by a companion star or nebula, the gas spirals inward, heating to very high temperatures and emitting large amounts of radiation. This radiation can be detected from earthbound and earth orbiting telescopes. Astronomers have also found evidence of supermassive black holes at the center of almost all galaxies. After observing the motion of nearby stars for 16 years, in 2008, astronomers found compelling evidence that a supermassive black hole of more than 4 million solar masses is near the Sagittarius A region in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Now we will see how black holes are formed. The gravitational collapse of huge stars caused stellar mass black holes. Star formation in the early universe may have resulted in very massive stars which on collapse would produce black holes of up to 10 raised to 3 solar masses. These black holes may be the seeds of the supermassive black holes found in the centers of most galaxies. Most of the energy released in gravitational collapse is emitted very quickly. A distant observer sees the infalling material slow and halt just above the event horizon due to gravitational time dilation. The light emitted just before the event horizon is delayed an infinite amount of time, so the observer never sees the formation of the event horizon. Instead, the collapsing material seems to become dimmer and increasingly redshifted, eventually fading away. Now we will see what are supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes, SBH, are the biggest black holes of all. They are formed when the universe was very young and also helped to form all the galaxies. At the middle of a black hole, there is a gravitational center called a singularity. It is impossible to see into it because the gravity prevents any light escaping. Around the tiny singularity, there is a large area where the light, which would normally pass by, gets sucked in as well. The edge of this area is called the event horizon. The area beyond the event horizon is the black hole. The gravity of the black hole gets weaker at a distance. The event horizon is the place farthest away from the middle where the gravity is still strong enough to trap light. Now we will see what is Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation is black body radiation which is emitted by black hole due to quantum effects near the event horizon. It is named after the physicist Stephen Hawking who provided a theoretical argument for its existence in 1974. Hawking radiation reduces the mass and the energy of the black hole and is therefore also known as black hole evaporation. This happens because of the virtual particle-antiparticle pairs. Due to quantum fluctuations, this is when one of the particles falls in and the other gets away with the energy. Because of this, black holes that lose more mass than they gain through other means are expected to shrink and ultimately vanish. Micro black holes are predicted to be larger net emitters of radiation than larger black holes and should shrink and dissipate faster. So that's it for today's video. Please like and share this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and also press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching this video.